All right, Nick, let's talk about the LSU Tigers. This is a team who, coming off this season, probably not exactly where you want to finish, but you had a couple strong games to end the season, more or less. But nonetheless, the recruiting game has already started off even stronger, and it's looking like there is potential for a bounce back, a rebound season this season to make LSU and get them back to where they want to be. And everyone knows it's college football playoff or bust nowadays. So let's get into this article and talk about this big time in-state recruiting flip that LSU has scored. We'll talk about it on the other side. This, of course, is from On3 Sports. It says four-star defensive lineman Gabriel Relaford of Shreveport Evangel Christian Academy announced his commitment to LSU Friday morning. The six foot two, 250 pound D lineman was previously committed to Texas A&M. The Bayou State defensive lineman joins coach Brian Kelly in the Tigers' top 15 2024 class. He's accompanied by four star tight end Tradez Green and four star safety Deshaun McBride, among others. Relaford ranks as number 218 player in on three industry ranking. He also tabs in as the number 23 defensive lineman in the number six player in the state of Louisiana. Now, Nick, this is really big because we talk about this all the time. You got to win your top in-state guys to keep your recruiting game strong. That's the first and foremost thing that you have to do. I think we all know this, and it's probably a little bit jading to know Texas A&M swooped this guy away from you in the first place, but the key here is that they got him back, and I really am impressed about that. Texas A&M, a little bit of turmoil there as far as the head coaching flips. There's a coaching change. You know, there's opportunities to sweep these guys away, especially since their big time defensive lineman coach has left there as well. So LSU, they saw the opportunity, they strike, and they get this player back. Hometown guy, keep the recruiting game strong by getting these guys at home. I think this is really great. Now, Nick, I want to know what your thoughts are on this one, but LSU fans, you still got one more game left, the bowl game versus Wisconsin, January 1st. A little bit early, but go ahead let us know in the comments section below what do you think in the final score of this game is going to be? And maybe a bonus question, do you think Jaden Daniels is going to win the Heisman? Let us know in the comments section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this big-time recruiting win for LSU? Yeah, so it's no no secret, right, that LSU's biggest weakness was the fact they were absolutely abysmal on defense this past season. Jane Daniels, like you said, could likely, I think he should win the Heisman. Their offense was spectacular. Their defense was pathetically bad, to be totally honest. I mean, they gave up a bunch of points, and that cost them. Every single one of their losses wasn't on the offense. It was clearly on the defense. I look at the Alabama loss. I look at the Ole Miss loss, and, of course, the Florida State loss to start the season. Jane Daniels basically saved them from going even worse their season. Jane Daniels in the offense – so I think focusing on the defense is the right move in terms of recruiting and transfers and credit for LSU for doing that. And they already were doing that. According to 24-7 Sports, their 2024 class already has six defensive linemen, three linebackers, and six defensive backs. So it's very obvious to Coach Kelly and everybody that defense is a big problem talent-wise and depth-wise, and they're making sure they're aggressively attacking it in the recruiting game so far. And that's a great move by LSU. Give credit where credit is due recognizing that's a weakness and going after it. But I also think you hit on something very important there. Talking about opportunity. Anytime there's a coaching change at any one of your rivals, and obviously AM, SEC West rival, bordering the state of Louisiana, right? Texas is right there, of course. This is obviously an opportunity for LSU to take back some recruits they may have missed in recruiting battles between Jimbo Fisher and Coach Kelly over the past year or two. This is a phenomenal chance to get one of those guys that maybe was 50-50, went to A&M for some reason, now's a chance to go back and get them and focus on those guys. That's exactly what LSU did because this commit actually visited LSU, I think on December 1st, so a little over a week ago now. Again, that doesn't happen without LSU being focused in the recruiting department, targeting this kid and saying, hey, listen, come for a visit, come for a visit, come for a visit, come for a visit. And this whole time, this was going on all season, I guarantee you that in the moment Jimbo Fisher gets fired, they're on the phone now three times a day with this kid saying, come for a visit, come for a visit. He comes for a visit. Now they get him to commit. You don't get this to happen without focusing on the right players to go after. And once a top flight rival loses their head coach, you have got to pounce. That's exactly what the Tigers did here. And I think it's a great sign for the future that they're able to recognize the opportunity and execute on it as well. Yeah, Nick, and I think it goes even deeper than this, and that's why I love what LSU has done here. Because, of course, Jimbo Fisher left, and that's a big one. But the even bigger thing, especially for this recruit in particular, is Eliza Robinson, the D-line coach who recruited him. He's also the D coordinator. 
he leaves, goes to Syracuse, and they know LSU being savvy enough, and we've talked about LSU, they are on the forefront of everything, whether it comes to recruiting and these kind of things, or whether it comes to technology and the helmets, they have the air conditioners, they have top-of-the-line facilities. LSU is one of the premier places like in the country. So like you said, if you can get a guy to get there, get in the door at LSU, there's nothing that they ha- don't have in their facilities that wouldn't absolutely blow somebody away. So Elijah Robinson, really, really key defensive line coach. They see the opportunity. They see the cracks in the seams there. And I'm very impressed. LSU capitalizing. And I think this is, for me, showing the signs for change, showing that LSU is ready to get these guys back and they're getting something going on the defensive side of things. Like you said, we always talk about this. You have to be smart in what your recruiting class fills out like, or you have to have a game plan of why you're doing what you're doing. A lot of times, sometimes you don't want to get like six, seven DBs in a class too many. But if you suck at DB, you want to take as many (laughs) chances at the position as you possibly can. So I think LSU, they're really doing things smart. They're doubling up on defensive side of the ball. I think this defense, we're going to see a significant improvement this coming season.